Hi, I'm Andrew, a French amateur radio. I have developed recently a complete transceiver based on software-defined radio. It's a transmitter and a receiver. Each one uses SDR, the model called HackRF1. Hack RF1. The interesting point of this transceiver is that it can be controlled uh, at distance, remotely, uh, in order to be able to be located close to the antenna, which sometimes are very far from your office where you operate. So to manage and control each SDR, I use an Orange Pi microcomputer. It's more or less equivalent to a Raspberry Pi. The model of the Orange Pi I used is uh, Orange Pi 1 Plus. It's a 64 bits uh, nano processor. The complete transceiver is managed from my office here using a web browser. On one page, you have all the parameters in order to control the transmitter and the receiver. This system with the HackRF1 SDR is able to work from 1 MHz up to uh, 6 GHz. Here I use it daily to communicate on the amateur radio satellite Q100. This satellite works on 2.4 GHz for the transmission from here up to the satellite and 10.4 GHz for the downlink satellite to the ground. In the upper part you have the parameter to control the receiver, the transmitter on the right. You have also some parameter here on the left just to control your audio and that the transmission between the remote system close to the antenna down to your office works perfectly and you have below in this part you have uh, the display of the complete spectra of the narrowband signals we receive from the satellite so it's covered about 500 kilohertz this you can see the different transmission of the different amateur radio uh, working at, at now and below you have uh, also what we call the waterfall so the complete history of all the transmission versus time. Now a short demo of uh, the system. Here in the middle you have a red cursor by which you can uh, steer the frequency of the audio beam. The frequency you want to listen. You can cover by this just moving the cursor the 500 kilohertz of uh, the receiving band for the Q100 satellite. Here on the right you have another cursor with dotted line which is dedicated to the transmitter. By this button I can steer my transmission frequency on the receiver. So I am now exactly on the same frequency on the, for the receiver and the transmitter. Here I have in the top I have all the parameters for the receiver. You have on the right the parameter for the transmitter. So here in the, with this satellite, you, we transmit at 2.4 gigahertz uh, for the uplink and 10.4 gigahertz for the downlink. Uh. There is a shift in frequency operated by the satellite. To transmit, you just have to click uh, this button. At the same time, you can generate uh, 800 hertz uh, signal audio signal in order to verify uh, that you receive the same signal at 800 hertz, around 800 hertz from uh, the satellite. That means your transmitter frequency is correctly uh, set on the, your receiver. If your frequency transmission is correct, uh, you can switch to the micro position. And in that case, I can call CQ, CQ, CQ satellite, CQQ100 from Foxtrot 1 Alpha Tango Bravo. Foxtrot 1 Alpha Tango Bravo calling and standing by. On a parabolic antenna for reception, you have a low noise amplifier. This amplifier also performs a frequency shift from 10.4 GHz down to 700 MHz. The difficulty we have with this system is that it's not very precise in frequency and very stable in frequency due to the variation of temperature on the antenna. 
To compensate this drift in frequency, remote SDR tracks lower beacon transmitted by the satellite here, in the lower part of the band, and the upper beacon also in the upper part of the band. Okay, now if you want more detail on remote SDR, don't hesitate to go on the website f1atb.fr you will have all the details about the software to be implemented on the Orange Pi microcomputers. I wish you a lot of fun with this system and uh, 73 good days with remote SDR. Bye bye.